Welcome to the Mind Project's Virtual Neuroscience Lab Number 1 Cocaine Study. In this lab, you will become a neurobiologist doing research on the effects that cocaine and cocaine addiction have on the brain. Here you see various work areas in the neurobiology lab. In the corner is a desk where you will learn some details about the brain and view some interactive animations that show how neurons function and the role that certain chemicals, called neurotransmitters, play in sending messages in the brain. This animation shows how an action potential is generated when ions move across the membrane of a neuron. You will conduct research on rats that have been trained to self-administer cocaine by pressing a bar which causes cocaine to be injected into the rat's bloodstream. It will be your job to anesthetize one of these rats. This requires that you measure the correct amount of anesthesia and inject it in exactly the right spot. If either the dose is incorrect or the location is wrong, the rat will die and you will have to start over with another rat. Next you will observe, as the rat is prepared with special implants that employ a recent technological development to record, in real time, the levels of the neurotransmitter dopamine within a live, freely moving rat. Now you are ready to conduct a research study to discover not only what happens to dopamine levels when cocaine eventually hits the brain, but you will make a fascinating discovery about what happens to the brain when the rat is merely seeking cocaine before it is actually received. This offers one possible explanation for why cocaine addicts have such a difficult time kicking the habit. The behavior of the rat that you see here is genuine, having been created by a process called rotoscoping, where authentic videotape of a rat under the influence of drugs is captured by an artist who traces over each frame of the video image. Walking around and around in circles is one of the obsessive, stereotypical behaviors common in rats under the influence of cocaine. As you work through the dopamine study, it is your responsibility to take notes of the observations that you make, which you will record in a lab notebook. When the experiment is completed, you will respond to a number of questions which will effectively organize the information that you gathered in your lab notebook. That information is then packaged in the form of an article in a virtual neuroscience journal. You can then print the article which provides an entertaining and educational summary of what was accomplished in the virtual neurobiology lab. To find this lab and others go to www.mine.ilstu.com ilstu.edu